Now more than ever, video game preservation is a very important discussion. Whether that is old copyrights taking down entire games off of marketplaces and making them unre-downloadable, games losing their entire servers, being shut down by developers or publishers most of the time, and making entire games, if not entire sections of games, entirely unaccessible, uncompletable, and unplayable, or just a lack of upkeep and maintenance. Whether that's a company going out of business and not being able to keep the game up for modern hardware or just not having a care in the world because they've moved on to their next piece of work video game preservation is very important and activision has just dealt a major blow not just to the call of duty community not just to video game preservation but to themselves let's get into it on may 22nd 2023 at 8 41 a.m x labs project tweeted out this Today, we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the X-Labs project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you all for your support over the years. Now, if you're not familiar with X-Labs or what this project even was, it was a group of developers, community members, and even modders that came together to provide clean, safe servers for older Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, and I think even Advanced Warfare. And they provide these servers as a service to the community that just want to play and preserve these older Call of Duty games. They even had some features where you could get better improvements, whether that was an FOV slider that actually worked or higher resolutions that worked with the games. They provided that and made it completely free to the community. And it was a wonderful thing. I've played on these XLab servers and they were great. They were safe. And that's the important thing. They were safe compared to the servers provided by Activision and their developers. So instead of letting these games just rot and wither, the community fixed the problem themselves, came together and built a project that was completely free that basically provided the service of safe, clean servers where people can come together, play these games together and enjoy themselves. And now Activision has gone and killed that project along with other projects supposedly that I haven't heard about where they have sent cease and desist letters. And this hurts because I'm someone who has been moving away from modern gaming, moving away from the current crop of games, besides a select few that I like to enjoy with my community. And to hear the fact that Activision has gone out of their way to take down a project that was doing them no harm, because you did have to have a bought copy of Call of Duty. So why shut it down? Unless maybe they plan to go back and preserve their old servers or God forbid, they're going to come out with some sort of collection where you can play those servers at a cost. The thing is, is that this wasn't hurting anyone and it was keeping those original games intact online and keeping communities together. And for no reason besides corporate greed or jealousy, who knows, Activision basically flicked them out of the way and shut them down. Maybe they'll come out and they'll say something, but th this is just the tip of the iceberg. And by no means am I saying that Call of Duty and Activision had no right to do this. They did. It's all in their legal right. They own the IP. They can do whatever they want with it and crush whoever they want under their millions of dollars. But is it the right thing to do when you have no intention to preserve these games? You have no intention to clean up the servers and protect the players that just want to enjoy the classics. That's a serious question, Activision. Your community, the people that helped build Call of Duty as a brand, helped build Activision as a brand, they came together to build a project to preserve the games that you wouldn't do, that you wouldn't protect, that you wouldn't moderate or anything. They did it themselves. And for little to no reason, you bopped them out of the way and said, have a good one. Why is that? Is that because you're hoping that these players will leave those games and come play the brand new Modern Warfare 2? Newsflash, the people that are playing those games don't give two shits 
about Modern Warfare 2 2022. They probably haven't cared about Call of Duty since 2012 or maybe a little bit after that because they might have just been holding on for a good Call of Duty game and they enjoyed some of those games that you won't provide service for anymore. This is just shooting yourself in the foot. This isn't doing anything for your stock value. This is nothing but bad PR for you. Do you think that this is really going to drive sales to your newer games? Do you think that they're going to go and play on the servers of the original games that are corrupt, filled with hackers, cheaters, and more importantly, doxers that can either wipe your entire progress of that game, could either get your information by IP address and basically put it out publicly, or even dox you and get your information and so on and so forth. Truthfully, I, I really don't know why this decision has been made who made this decision, but it's a major mistake. Not just for you as a company, not just for Call of Duty as a brand, but for video game preservation, you just shot yourself and games preservation in the foot. Good job. I don't know what they expect to get out of this, but one thing I will say is to the people of X Labs, I wanna say we salute you. You provided a service to the players of Call of Duty that still cared about it and its history. You guys did a great job and you have been granted tons of respect and praise for the work that you guys did. It's appreciated, not just by myself, but by many people in the Call of Duty community, many people in my community, many people in general that are gamers. When you see passion projects like this, it really, makes you still believe that there's passion in gaming that it's not just corporate greed or shills or people that are just willing to wail it up for the next big title from the next big AAA studio and speaking of passion projects let's go back to a community that i used to be a part of let's talk about halo right let's talk about halo online you remember that you remember that whole project where halo online was this game that came out in russia it was a free to play basically modified version of halo 3 that was playable for free in russia and then the project died it died it died it died and then a group of modders and community members came together to build the el dorito mod a playable version of this that had classic modern everything in between it was a fun service it was a fun game it was completely free and microsoft did a cease and desist letter they took it down now did they have the total legal right to do so yes they did they had the full right to do so but does that mean it was the right thing to do no and you know the reason why they did it is because a few months later they announced that they were bringing halo the master chief collection to pc and that game still has a ton of issues to this day, including something I found out about recently. You remember when my GPU died? I talked about it on Twitter and so on and so forth. You may or may not know this story, so let me explain. A few months ago, my graphics card, my RTX 3090, started rev revving up, revving up, going full load, and it died. And originally, we thought it was something to do with MCC, but we couldn't put our finger on it, and we thought it was a mod conflict. Turns out, it's not a mod conflict. And here's a little warning to everyone who is playing MCC now. Do not run the game in full screen mode. Do not. Do not run it in full screen mode. Run it in borderless full screen. Because that was what was causing my GPU to ramp up was the full screen mode. I'm not kidding you. We tested this thoroughly in my discord. I had my friends watch my task manager while I played the game in borderless and in full screen. And when I hit full screen, it would lock up, the screens would go black and that thing would turn into a PlayStation 4. That's one example. The second example is when for no reason at all, Microsoft and Xbox and 343 made the announcement that they were shutting down the original Halo servers on Xbox 360. Was there any reason for doing this? No, maybe to push more people to the Master Chief Collection, but was there a good reason for this? No. So now, because those servers have been shut down, you can't play the multiplayer or co-op aspects over online. You can't complete achievements, making the game uncompletable. And it basically is again, killing game preservation for corporate greed. How much could it have honestly cost them 
to run those servers how much was it honestly costing microsoft xbox 343 whoever how much was it honestly costing you to run those servers from halo 3 up but again another example of a passion project or games preservation being demolished by corporate greed it's passion and that's what x labs project was or any of these other projects that are getting hit with cease and desist letters this is just the biggest one that i know about and the one that hits the closest for home because i remember going on to call of duty Modern warfare 2 back in the day and meeting some of my best friends i remember going on to black ops 2 and even though that wasn't my favorite game i still respected what it was try going on to one of those servers now in the traditional game good luck finding one server that is playable that isn't filled with hackers modders or people that are deleting people's progression good luck with that and um good luck activision because i guarantee you this is going to cause much more damage to you and you're going to have to have one hell of an explanation soon enough so guys share this video around drop a salute down in the comment section down below for x labs they deserve it and i'll see you guys next time gamer j lee signing out that's to you x labs Sorry to hear you go.